Well, hello everyone. My name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries, and today I would like to show a little demonstration of PMI Advisor. Now, PMI Advisor is a fantastic tool because it allows you to ensure that when you place all these annotations and dimensions and such on your model in PMI in 3D, that the, uh, the, the PMI actually makes sense. And that's like really important because when you send this model off to manufacturing, if you send it with mistakes, then it comes back and it could be a few days or a week before it comes back and could slow down the process a lot. So very, very important to ensure that the annotations that you put on a 3D solid are actually correct. And so that said, we have a tool that allows you to check, make sure that the ones that you put on make sense. Now, I'm going to put on a few dimensions here. Uh, this dimension, for example, uh, does not have a tolerance, and that's not a good thing. I'm going to create a center mark between these two holes. Okay, I'm going to put on a dimension between face and center mark. Whoops. Uh, dimension between face and point entity. There's center mark and between there and there. Hold on. Between that center mark and that center mark. And we're going to select the plane on which to put it. Good. I'm going to do things like put on a uh, datum feature symbol on here. Um, that's going to be A. So. Uh, actually, I think I'd like the A to be on this surface if we're going to inspect this. We we'll want to have that surface be the first surface that we put down on our surface plate. There's A. Okay, and then we want to limit this thing from going back and forth. So I'm going to call this B. Okay, I'm going to make sure it's here's on that plane there. And let's say um, I'll call the front plane C. That. On this plane here. <clears throat> and now <clears throat> I'm going to put on something that is dumb. For example, I'm going to put on a, a feature control frame that is um, perpend. I'll select this little surface. I'll come off and I'll make it uh, perpendicular to plane, um, plane B, which it certainly is not. Okay, so we'll go into the perpendicularity. Oops, perpendicularity. And we'll call out primary plane B. And we'll give it a tolerance. Like that. And we'll place it on a nice plane like that and say, okay. And so I personally, I pur purposely messed this up. Uh, I'm gonna put a tolerance between those two. I'm gonna just put a plus minus tolerance of some sort. Good. Close. That makes sense now. I'm gonna put a whole call out. Call out. Right. Right there. I'm going to grab this feature here and I'm going to, I don't like the way it's coming in. So I'm going to specify a plane and I like to use x axis, y axis. I'll say that this is my x axis and this is my y axis. And annotation plane uh, conflicts with selected geometry. Okay, let's. Select a better plane. Let's select do x axis, y axis again. My plane. Favorite is x axis, y. I'm going to say that that's my x, that's my y. Okay. Now it's coming in. Uh, okay, straight up and down. I'll just place it. Saving some time here. There we go. Move it 
closer. There's a lot there, so kind of complex. But anyway, we have it. Okay, great. So now, as you can see, I've got some annotations on this thing. Um, you can notice that this one doesn't have a tolerance. I've got this um, GD&T symbol uh, perp perpendicular to the wrong plane. I've got a tolerance here, but no tolerance here. So great. So now, um, if this was a more complicated component, it would have all these dimensions on it and so on and so forth, center marks, etc. cetera. Um, there could be lots of things that are wrong. And so now I go to the PMI advisor. <clears throat> and when I run the PMI advisor, look at what it does. It shows me these little X's and these little warnings. And now I can drill down into the actual notes that are associated with those, the descriptions, and it says for this little yellow one, it says the associated geometry is not perpendicular to the primary datum. Awesome, look at that. It says um, there's an error here where uh, this dimension, dimension should have a tolerance or be basic. And so it's actively telling me exactly uh, what I need to do to fix this before I send it off to manufacturing. If I send it off to manufacturing with all of these errors, then um, it costs a lot. Um, they could be conflicting. They could be something that um, that uh, causes the manufacturing uh, folks to send the model back, and it could really uh, delay the whole um, the whole build. So PMI Advisor is fantastic. It's right here up in the menu. All you do is select it. It gives you all the uh, warnings on all the things that you might have done wrong, and then it flags them for you. Be fantastic, isn't it? This again is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. I hope you've enjoyed this little video and gotten so, got something out of it. Um, please uh, like and subscribe uh, if you appreciate it. And please use this technique to your great advantage. Thank you very much.